welcome to today's video. Today I am finally fe feeling like it's kind of spring so I thought I'd kind of show you what additions I've kind of made to my beauty routine and even I've got a couple of fashion-y bits to show you as well. I've actually been trying not to buy too many items of clothing because I promised myself that if I was to get a personal trainer, um, which I got a couple of, about a month ago now, I would stop spending money elsewhere. I also promised myself I'd stop getting my nails done, but that hasn't happened. Um, but I haven't bought that many items of clothing recently, so there isn't that much. But I thought I'd get started with the beauty. And in winter, I'll be the first person to admit I neglect my body massively. I go from waxing, which I typically do in the summer, to shaving. Um, I don't moisturise, I don't fake tan as much, I don't exfoliate as much, like all that sort of stuff. I've been getting back into kind of looking after my body a little bit better. And the first thing I want to talk about is actually really random, but it's the Veet uh, Professional Warm Wax. I, I find waxing to be quite expensive. I'm pretty hairy. So when I go to get my waxing done, it, it costs me like £80. Um, which is a lot of money, especially if you think it's like once a month, pretty much. So I'm trying to do a fair amount of it at home. And I recently discovered this. This is new. I I think it's out, but I'm not 100% sure. It's this little pot, which you put in the microwave. I've used it, so mine looks a bit grubby. It's not like hairy or anything like that, but the wax just isn't perfectly flat. Um, but... The reason I like this one is because I've tried at home ones before and I've just found them a nightmare. They're not that cheap and I've ended up making such a mess that I've thrown the pot away, um, like half full. I use this one just on my face and you can use this one on your face, which for me is such a big deal because um, typically I'll have to use those annoying strips which you have to warm in the middle of your hands um, on my face and they are a nightmare, like I can never uh, warm them enough. I try so hard and then I pull them and then they like rip funny and yeah, it's just a nightmare. This however was so easy to use. You put it in the microwave for a minute and then you use this spatula, again mine has been used, it has a little bit of wax on it. You use the spatula, you apply it um, to wherever you're, anywhere in your body I guess. Um, and then you wait like half a minute and then it goes hard and you pull it. So you're not faffing about with strips, which I think makes it less messy. Um, it stays warm for a surprisingly long time. I love that you kind of just throw it in the microwave. Previous ones I've had, you had to warm on the stove, which were awful. Because I'd accidentally drop it in the water, which I was warming it in. Ugh, not good. This, yeah, this was just so good. They're 15 pounds, which at first I was like, whoa, like that's expensive. But, like, this could probably do your whole leg. Maybe your whole leg and, like, your underarms. So, I guess it depends on, like, how hairy you are. For me, probably just my whole legs. Um, but if you think about, it, like, a wax, particularly in London for your whole legs, it's probably, like, £35 or something like that. I have had my legs wax in a little bit, so I'm not 100% sure. But it is expensive. So, I am going to be using this whole pot for sure. And then, I think I'm going to buy another one. I really, really love this. Then fake tan, I've spoken about this in my last video, I love fake tan, especially now where I'm having to get a bit more skin out. Bondi Sands, self tanning, medium, light to medium, salon quality formula, coconut scent. It's what I've got on today and I'm like just a nice brown, I'm not super dark, I'm just slightly more olivey than usual. Really been enjoying this, I mean I rave about this so much, um, it's my fave. But just fake tan in general makes me so happy, especially now that I'm getting a bit of skin out and I'm still so pale. It's ridiculous. But since I am fake tanning, I have to exfoliate a bit more. This is a new bag. But last year I used this and I'm going back to it. And it's the Frank Body Body Scrub. Um, this is the original one. Oh, something leaked onto mine. I have to go find out what the hell happened there. But it's a coffee scrub. I'm going to open it. I love the packaging, which is actually waterproof because initially I was like, really worried by that. And it is a coffee scrub. It smells amazing. You can wet it and use it all over your body. I really like it. I like the smell. I like the packaging. And I guess it's like quite trendy still. Their Instagram is like incredible. You can use it on your face as well. I don't use it very often on my face. But like that option is there if I need to. And um, yeah, I would highly recommend you start exfoliating quite soon. Because just kind of get your skin looking that bit healthier. And it helps with like circulation and all that sort of good stuff. On to makeup, and I don't really change my makeup that much. I typically get a bit lazy and I like glowier skin, so I do change my foundation. Today I haven't got it on, but I have been using the new Becca one loads, and I quite like, like illuminating primers and stuff like that. 
Um, I like quick and easy eyeshadow pencils because I think sometimes where it's like so light and bright outside on a good day, I think sometimes like over like heavy eyeshadow can look too much so I kind of like to throw on these kind of like eye pencils which you can kind of just rub in um, and this one is from Love of Colour which is a Birchbox brand and um, these are really really good but I just generally like to sweep one colour all over the lid and leave and that's it. New from Benefit, I actually kind of love and really really hate the packaging at the same time, is Dew the Hula. The packaging looks like a bamboo stick and I love the idea but I think it's not that good to travel with but it's just like this little bronze it's matte as well, which I like, like cream bronzer, which you can like really blend in. You could use this all over the body, although I feel like that could be quite expensive. And they have released a body version as well. But it just adds a nice little glow. This one's just a little bit more tanned. I use it on my face. I apply it with like a kind of stippling brush on the outer perimeter of my face. Um, and I do really like it. Sometimes, I think you have to be a little bit careful with the foundation you've got underneath though, just because it can move it a little bit, but I'm sure you can mix it with your foundation and stuff like that as well. And then, of course, Benefit Hula, I've been using quite a lot. This is a brand new one, but I've got it on today. I applied it and then misplaced it, like I don't even understand how this happens, but um, I haven't used this one because this one's new. But it's just like a nice matte bronzer. I can use it to contour a little bit and to add warmth to the face. So it's a really good one. They're not that cheap, but they last forever. Like I said, I really don't have that much to talk about, but I do have a couple of lipsticks. I've spoken about these in particular recently, but I quite like to opt for slightly sheerer lipsticks in the sum in the spring, especially during the day. I feel like a matte can look a bit, um, almost a bit harsh. Um, so these kind of YSL ones are beautiful and they smell incredible and I feel like you can even opt for a slightly like more autumnal colour but because they're sheer they just kind of add that nice colour and they're pretty. I probably wouldn't go for the red just because I feel like r glossy reds look a little tiny bit dated. Like lighter peachier colours are just really really beautiful. But actually what I've got on today is one of the Burberry Full Kisses. And I've actually got number 505 Nude on. I like the packaging of these. They're not like a standard lipstick packaging. And they're also not a crayon because I'm not a crayon fan. And this is quite a brown nude, but I do like it. They're not overly sheer, but they're super comfortable on the lips, which is why I really like them. They're not heavy or anything like that. But actually, Rose Apricot is probably my favourite colour out of the two. Just because I feel like it's super... Um, springy and you could put an orange lip liner under this and make it like super orange like almost editorial which is what I love to do in the spring and summer um, and I get like so many people ask me about it but it's just really cheap and really quick to do just get like a cheapy lip liner put it underneath and then put your favorite kind of peachy orange lipstick over it and it looks amazing actually in terms of makeup that's probably it the other thing i do do is use my beauty blender quite a lot in the spring i just feel like it kind of makes your makeup look a little bit more natural and again bright lights outside you want your makeup to not look too heavy and not too cakey and i feel like using a damp beauty blender really helps that at the moment i've just got a real techniques one so i guess it's not a beauty blender it's just a sponge um but really really good and super duper affordable too nails i'm gonna be so boring i mean i've had a very similar shellac colour over and over and over again for like the last like two months, three months, my nail lady has told me I am terribly boring. I kind of alternate between two because I don't remember the name of the colour on purpose so that the next time I don't pick exactly the same one. This one's slightly pinker than usual but I really don't dislike it especially because I have got fake tan on but I've picked two colours out, three colours out of my collection. If you want to go kind of the boring pink like I typically keep doing, I've got Go Ginza from Essie and then French Affair from Essie, both really beautiful colours. One is slightly more, slightly cooler toned and also slightly like more lilac and the other one is pretty similar to what I've got on actually. I hope they're not limited edition but I'm never too sure. I have had them for a really, really long time, um, either for a year or two, but they seem to be okay still. But if pink is a bit boring, and I am going to use a blue soon, I just haven't, I feel like I'm not quite there yet and it's not quite warm enough, um, but the blue I've picked is Lee by now by um, Topshop. This is such a nice blue. It's a really pale, like dusty, pastel blue, which I think will go like really well and like you don't have to think about too much. Obviously, if you work in an office, this might still be a bit too blue, but um, generally, I think it's quite a nice colour, especially if you're going on holiday 
Although I think for holiday, I'm really like thinking about this, I might go for white, but white's a bit tacky. I feel like the only time you can, I could ever do white is on holiday, but I don't know if it's just too tacky even for holiday. Especially because I've got like some nice things going on on holiday, so I'm not sure. But then finally I have two diff- like four things to show you, but two of the same and two of the same, just different colours. So clearly I really like them. Um, the first is a bomber. I've been looking for a bomber for ages, but I didn't want to pay too much. Um, oh, I can't try these on, but I'm going to do a lookbook, so hopefully you guys understand that. Um, but I got this one from Stradivarius. I'm not 100% how you say it in English, because I believe it's a Spanish shop and you've got loads of them in Portugal, which is how I heard of it. In the UK, I think we've just got the one that's in Westfield, Stratford. But I ordered these online and they were so cheap, which is why I got them. Quality wise, they are like perfect. Um, I had a look at Topshop, they were like £60 and the Zara one was like 35 so actually quite cheap but it sold out really quickly and um, it just wasn't quite right. And actually the reason I ordered these was because I wanted the pink one and I ordered the green one to qualify for, to qualify for free delivery but I thought I was going to send this one back ended up loving this one even more than the pink one but I also like that it's got an orange lining um, and it's not too short and I'm fairly tall I'm five foot seven so um, like perfect for me but like I said the reason I ordered them was because of the pink one I had been searching for a pink one forever I didn't want it to be shiny but I also didn't want it to be matte um, like I didn't want it a silk one but I also didn't want a matte one um, so this one was perfect for reference I got mine in a medium um, I'm a size 10 12 it was super cheap. It was... Yeah, I think it was £25, but I can't seem to find the price on it. I haven't worn this one yet, but I think I'm going to wear this one today. And I will hopefully insert pictures of me wearing it instead of, like, a video. Um, because... Hopefully I'm doing a look. Also, before I go into the last thing, I just remembered I have another new jacket, which I'm just going to quickly touch on. And it's a leather jacket. I was in dire need of a new leather jacket. And I searched everywhere. But I wanted one that wasn't like stupidly expensive, but also wasn't um, cheap. I did want it to be real leather because I want to keep it for a long time. I typically keep my leather jackets for like four years and they're never real leather anyway. So I think this one will last me a really long time. Um, and I want it to be like fairly timeless. Um, I mean, in five years time, I will be 29. So, I don't know, my taste would probably, probably have changed, probably would have grown up a bit. Although I have been wearing like leather jackets for the last 12 years. So I can't see my taste changing too much. But this one is from Super Dry. It's not cheap, like I, I can't pretend it is. Um, I, at first I didn't really look in Super Dry because sometimes Super Dry has like massive logos. This only has this tiny little Super Dry thing, which I guess I could remove if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Um, like I said, it's real leather, it feels really premium. It's almost a bit too good quality because I have to like break it in. It's a little tiny bit boxy still, but I feel that's because I need to wear the leather in. Again, I got a size medium. Yeah, I'm really, really liking this. I will link this below along with everything else. But then actually the things I'm most excited about, and they were really cheap, I'm going to clean them because they're, they have finger marks in them. All my sunglasses always have finger marks on them. Okay, that did not work very well. So I ordered two pairs of sunglasses. I totally was inspired by Hannah Gale. Again, I'll leave her link below. These are from lamoda.co.uk. They look like this. And I love them. I hope you can't see how messy my room is. I got them with 20% off. Hopefully that code is still live. And I think the code was like everything 20 or, I don't know, I can't remember. But again, I will link that below. Um, loads of you screenshot these and the code and the website on my snapchat which is a little obsessed um, so I assume that a few of you have ordered them I also ordered the gold which I really like I haven't worn these yet and I feel like it's because I like them so much that I'm like waiting for this, the right time to wear them but actually lamoda.co.uk have some epic sunglasses for super cheap I ended up paying like £7 for these and I love them. You do have to pay postage, but like, it's really not that bad. Um, so love these so much. They have like a pair, a copy of the Dior's that everyone has at the moment. And I wanted the Dior ones. I haven't been able to find them yet. And I think I'm just gonna get the cheap pair instead um, because I'm just not very careful with my sunglasses. They end up like thrown in my handbag. And I like love key sunglasses. Like I really, really do. I think they're perfect, but 
So they're kind of getting quite expensive now. They're about £30. So by the time you've got a few pairs, like you're into the hundreds. But with these, they're like £10. So you could order so many. You could order like three or four pairs for the same price as a pair of key ones. Um, so I am loving these. And that's the end of my video. It looks like it was really long and I thought it was going to be like super duper short but i hope you still enjoyed it let me know what you'd like to see next i'm actually off to rome uh, it depends when i'm uploading this video but soon i may already be in rome although i hope i have uploaded this video before, just before i go so head over to my snapchat and follow me there for a bit of a live rome vlog um i shall see you all very soon